All good. All good. Okay. <laughs> right. So uh, before the break, we left off to determine the centroid. So after the centroid, uh, what I suggest is critical is you take the datum relative to the site of the applied force. Okay, so I take the data from the top later on when we get our moment it's easy to just add the Y bar from the top. Okay, if you do from the bottom, if you take your data from the bottom, you need to remember to compensate. Okay. Right, so the next one we're going to find our IZZ. Flange. So with depth 12, area uh, 8.154 minus by 2 squared. So this will be equal to 10 times 4 power 3 divided by 12 plus by 40 times by 8.154 minus 2 plus bracket squared is equal to 1 point. I get 1.568. Then stand to power three millimeter to power four. Okay. Then we can get our IZZ on the web for sixteen to cube sixty four eight point one five four. 12 squared so I get 2.312 times 10 power 3 millimeter 4 so now we can determine our IZZ is equal to 1.568 times 10 to power 3 plus by 2.312 3.88 times 10 to power 3 millimeter to power 4 or you change to meter So that is our second moment of area. Okay. So the next thing, so if we go back to our formula that we're trying to use is stress X is equal to uh, P uh, X over A plus or minus M Z over I Z Z multiplied by Y. We know our P X, our A, is equal to 104 millimeter squared because this is our A value, our area. Okay. Or 104 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter squared. Okay. So we have our A, we have our MZ, we have IZZ, we have Y, we are good to go. Okay. So the question asks us to find the stresses at point A. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to get this diagram. Okay, I'm going to paste over here so we all can see. Um, sorry for the stress yes. formula. Is that plus or minus? You have that. Say it again. Like p x over a plus or minus. Um, Z, yeah, um, the plus or minus does not matter because we already know that this is going to tensile. This is going right, to go to compressive. Okay. Right? right? So it does yeah. not really matter whether plus or minus. You already do the analysis already. Okay. So for this case, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw the reaction, okay? So we have the, at, at point, at, we're going to draw the reaction. So we have 
Yeah. I should have drawn this earlier. I do apologize. All right. So we have 40. Is it 40? No, we have 400 Newton over here. So at this region, which we are interested, this is also going to do a 400. Why is at that direction? Because of Newton's third law, right? Action equal reaction, same in magnitude, different direction. And then we're going to generate a moment this way. Right? Then we are going to have a moment this way also. So that's why at point D is going to be compression. Point A is going to be tensile due to the moment. Okay? What I'm trying to show down here is the 400 is going to induce a tensile. Okay? So we're going to have stress X at point A will be equal to PX, which is equal to 400, positive, because it's going to induce tensile. Divide by the cross-sectional area. Right. And point A, the bending moment is going to induce tensile, so it's plus MZ. Uh, did we find MZ? Not yet. So MZ is going to be 400 multiplied by 50 millimeters or 0 0.050 plus by 8.154 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, so why is that? Because if you look over here, right, this is the 50, and then to the centroid is equal to 8.154 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Okay, so you that, that, that's why this is critical, yeah, this is important. Okay, so from here. You multiply by y, which is equal to 8.154 times 10 to the power minus 3. Then we divide by izz, 3.88 times 10 to the power minus 9. Okay. So this will be equal to 400 divided by 104 power minus 6. Positive 3.846. Times by 10 to the power of 6 plus by 0 0.05 plus by 8.154 power of minus 3 times by 400 times by 8.154 power of minus 3 divided by 3.88 power of minus 9 is equal to 48.886 times 10 to the power of 6. So stress X. At point A, it's equal to 52, positive 52.732 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. Okay, can we explain why we have 0 0.05 plus by 8.154? Yes. So we know, right, let, let me go back up over here, right? MZ is equal to 50 plus by y bar right so mz if i convert to meters this is equal to 400 oh sorry this is times not plus i do apologize so this is uh zero uh, 50 okay so 0 0.05 plus by y bar okay so this is 400 multiplied by 0 0.05 Y bar is towards the centroid, right? So this is where we got 8.154 plus by 8.154 times by 10 to the power minus 3. Talan trick, is that clear to you? The student asks why we have to plus for the moment. Talan trick, are you okay? Or say something or just put thumbs up so that you are clear? Do we always take the distance from P? Yes, we do. Okay. Then from here, 
we found at point A. Then next, we want to find stress X at D. So the axial load is still the same. Then plus, the only, we know that, not, no more plus, okay? We know that this is going to induce a what? Compression. So minus by 400 multiplied by 0 0.05 plus by 8.154 times 10 to the power minus 3. Then divide by 3.88 times 10 to the power minus 9. Now, the Y is different now, okay? Because this is 20 millimeters. We know the distance from here to here is 8.154. So the distance from here to here from the centroid to point D is 20 minus by 8.154. So 20 minus by 8.154 is equal to 11.846. Okay. So this is equal to 11.846 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So this is equal to 3.846 times 10 to the power 6 minus, so 400 or 0 0.05 plus 8.154 power minus 3 times by 400 divided by 3.88 power minus 9 times by 11.486 power minus 3 is equal to minus 71. Point zero two times ten to the power six. So this is good three point eight four six power six minus by seventy one point zero two power three point eight four six power six minus seventy one point zero two power six. It's good minus sixty seven point one seven four. Okay. It is it's straightforward. The only thing you have to be careful is the moments. Okay. You have to include the what? The central. Yes. The, the this one? Right. Right. Why is it positive 400? Because at point A, the moment is going to induce tensile. Right? Yep. And then this is compression. That's why it's minus on the next one. Didn't the, what do you mean the forces being converted to? Left and right. Now, sorry, this is a, this is, this is a cross-section review. This is not. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, because I was trying to explain. So this view, the transformation is Z, Y, rotation about X. This one over here, my bad, okay, because I'm showing the X. So this is X, Y, rotation about Z, okay? Right, okay. So now, how about online? You're okay with that? It's not that bad. I mean, you guys have done sheer force already, sheer stress. That's the worst of the worst. This is just Mickey Mouse stuff for you guys now, okay? So now we are going to find the position of the centroid, okay? We're going to find the position of the centroid. So we are going to sketch. Okay. I mean, you can use the formula for it, but I rather use simple math to do this. Okay, we're going to apply high school math. Okay, so now I'm going to change this. Okay, so we are going to draw our x axis. We're going to sketch the stress distribution basically. Okay, so our stress range from what? Range from minus 67 to 52. So I'm going to call this our uh, 
minus 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, 50, and 60. Okay, so that is our normal stress. And then we are going to have our distance. in terms of y, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, and minus 12. 